Civil Engineering Top 200 Exam Questions in Irrigation Part 4 Welcome back to CivTech Simplified. Introduction Brought to you by Engineer Imran Aziz, a seasoned civil engineer with 20-plus years of real-world experience in construction and urban infrastructure engineering. CivTech Simplified is a faceless, research-driven YouTube channel, is your go-to learning hub, specially designed to empower civil engineering students, fresh graduates, and professionals gearing up for competitive exams like SSC, JE, RRBJE, UPSC, RE, PE, FPSC, PPSC, and KPPSC. Let's simplify civil engineering, one concept at a time. Today's focus is on irrigation engineering. Part 4, where we'll walk through the 50 MCQs, question 151 to 200. Each question comes with a clearly marked correct answer, making it easier for you to follow along and reinforce your understanding. For basic concepts, refer to Part 1. If you're looking for basic concepts, important definitions, and foundational understanding, we recommend watching part one first. Watch here. Let's begin this learning journey together. MCQs, part four. 151. Distributary head regulators are provided, A, to control the supplies to the off-taking channel, B, to control the silt entry in the off-taking canal, C. To stop the supply when not needed in the off-taking canal. D. All of the above. Correct option. D. All of the above. 152. Cross regulators are provided. A. To raise the water level to its upstream during the periods of low discharges in the parent channel. B. To help in closing the supply to downstream of the parent channel is C to absorb fluctuation in various sections of the canal system, D, all of the above. Correct option, D, all of the above. 153. A structure constructed in an irrigation canal for the purpose of wasting some of its water is known as a, A, fall, B, escape, C, regulator, D, none of these. Correct option, B, escape. 154. The escapes must lead the surplus water to natural drainage. A. True. B. False. Correct option. A. True. 155th. Escapes are also known as for the canals. A. Outlet. B. Safety valves. C. Regulators. Correct option. B. Safety valves. 156. The capacity of escape channel should not be less than by of the capacity of the parent channel at that point. A. 20% EAO. B. 30%. C. 40%. D. 50%. Correct option. D. 50%. 157. A fall which maintains the depth is a A. Trapezoidal notch. Fall. B. Rectangular notch fall. C. Low weir fall, D, all of these. Correct option, D, all of these. 158. For a canal which irrigate the area directly, the fall should be provided at a location where the FSL outstrips the ground level, but before the bed of the canal comes into filling. A, right, B, wrong. Correct option, A, right. 159. A baffle wall is a sort of low weir constructed at the end of the cistern to A, head up water to its upstream to such a height that hydraulic jump is formed, B, withstand the actual impact of the high-velocity jet to dissipate the energy, C, both, A, and B, D, none of the above. Correct option, C, both, A, and B. 160. In an Inglis-type fall, the baffle holds the jump stable on a horizontal platform. A. Agree. B. Disagree. Correct option. A. Agree. 161st. 
A parabolic glasses type fall is commonly known as A. Montague fall, B. Inglis fall, C. Sarda fall, D. Vertical type fall. Correct option A. Montague fall. 162. When the water is thrown into a well over a crest from where it escapes near its bottom, the type of fall is called A. Rapid fall, B. Cylinder fall, C. Pipe fall, D. Glacis fall. Correct option, B, cylinder fall. 163. A sudden fall of level of ground along the alignment of a canal joined by an inclined bed is called a, A, rapid fall, B, cylinder fall, C, sudden fall, D, hydraulic jump. Correct option, A, rapid fall. 164. The cylinder or well fall is quite suitable and economical for A, low discharges and low drops, B, low discharges and high drops, C, high discharges and low drops, D, high discharges and high drops. Correct option, B, low discharges and high drops. 165. Which of the following statement is wrong? A, in a trapezoidal notch fall, the top width of the notch is kept between three quarters to full water depth above the sill of the notch. B. The energy dissipation takes place by the provision of roughening devices. C. The siphon fall is designed to maintain a fixed supply level in the channel. D. Energy dissipators are provided for small discharges. Correct option. D. Energy dissipators are provided for small discharges. 166. The fall which can be used as a meter fall is A. Vertical drop fall. B. Flumed glasses fall. C. Unflumed glasses fall. D. None of these. Correct option. A. Vertical drop fall. 167. A canal outlet should A. Be so designed that the farmer cannot temper with its functioning. B. Be simple so that it can be constructed or fabricated by local masons. C. Draw its fair share of silt carried by the distributing channel, D, all of the above. Correct option, D, all of the above. 168. A device which ensures a constant discharge of water passing from one channel to another, irrespective of water level, in each within certain specified limits, is called A, flume, B, module, C, meter, D, none of these. Correct option, B, module. 169th. An outlet in which the discharge depends upon the difference in level between the water levels in distributing channel and the water course is known as A. Non-modular outlet. B. Semi-module outlet. C. Modular outlet. D. Rigid module. Correct option. A. Non-modular outlet. 170. In a flexible outlet, the discharge depends upon the A, water level in distributary, B, water level in water course, C, difference of water levels between distributary and water course, D, none of the above. Correct option, A, water level in distributary. 171. When discharge of an outlet is independent of the water levels in the water course and the distributary, the outlet is termed as a A. Flexible outlet. B. Non modular outlet. C. Semi module outlet. D. Rigid module. Correct option. D. Rigid module. 172. Gibbs module is a type of A. Non modular outlet. B. Semi modular outlet. C. Rigid modular outlet. D. Open flume outlet. Correct option. C. Rigid modular outlet. 173rd. The ratio of the rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change of the discharge of the distributing channel is termed as A. Proportionality, B. Flexibility, C. Sensitivity, D. Efficiency. Correct option B. Flexibility. 174. In a proportional outlet, the rate of change of its discharge is the rate of change of the discharge of the distributing channel. A equal to B more than C less than.
Correct option. A equal to 175. The ratio of the head recovered to the head put in an outlet is called A, proportionality, B, flexibility, C, sensitivity, D, efficiency. Correct option, D, efficiency. 176. The efficiency is a measure of conservation of head by an outlet. A, true, B, false. Correct option, A, true. 177. The sensitivity of an outlet is defined as the ratio of the A rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change of discharge of the distributing channel. B. Rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change in level of the distributing surface, referred to normal depth of the channel. C. Depth of the sill or the crest level of the module below the full supply of the distributing channel to the full supply depth of the distributing channel, D had recovered to the head put in an outlet. Correct option, B, rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change in level of the distributing surface referred to normal depth of the channel. 178, an outlet is said to be proportional if its flexibility is A, equal to zero, B, less than unity, C, equal to unity, D, more than unity. Correct option. C. Equal to unity. 179. The sensitivity of a rigid module is A. Equal to zero. B. Less than unity. C. Equal to unity. D. More than unity. Correct option. A. Equal to zero. 180. The flexibility of a hyperproportional outlet is yes. 1. A. Greater than B equal to C less than. Correct option A greater than. 181. The flexibility of a subproportional outlet is less than 1. A yes, B no. Correct option A yes. 182. For the pipe outlet to be proportional, the outlet is set at the depth below the water surface. A 0.3 times B, 0.5 times C, 0.8 times. Correct option A, 0.3 times. 183. In the case of a proportional outlet, the setting is equal to the ratio of outlet index to the channel index. A, correct. B, incorrect. Correct option A, correct. 184. The setting for a hyperproportional outlet is N as compared to a proportional outlet. A, more, B, less, C, same. Correct option, A, more. 185. The setting for a subproportional outlet is C as compared to a proportional outlet. A, more, B, less, C, same. Correct option, B, less. 186. The ratio between the depths of water levels over crest on the downstream and upstream of the module is known as A. Flexibility, B. Sensitivity, C. Drowning ratio, D. Module ratio. Correct option, C. Drowning ratio. 187. Which of the following is a type of non-modular outlet? A. Submerged pipe outlet, B. Open flume outlet, C. Kennedy's gauge outlet, D. All of these. Correct option, A, submerged pipe outlet. 188. Which of the following is a type of semi-module outlet? A, submerged pipe outlet. B, open flume outlet. C, Kennedy's gauge outlet. D, all of these. Correct option, C, Kennedy's gauge outlet. 189. The slope of a canal for a discharge of 300 cubic meters per second should be A, 1 in 4,000, B, 1 in 506,000, C, 1 in 8,000, D, 1 in 10,000. Correct option, C, 1 in 8,000. 190th, a diversion headwork is constructed to A, raise water level at the head of the canal, B, regulate the intake of water into the canal, C, reduce fluctuations in the supply level of the river. D. 
all of the above. Correct option, D, all of the above. 191. A weir is generally aligned at right angle to the direction of the main river flow because A, it is economical, B, less length of weir is required, C, it gives better discharge capacity, D, all of these. Correct option, D, all of these. 192. A weir fails due to A, rupture of floor due to uplift, B, rupture of floor due to suction caused by standing wave, C, scour on the upstream and downstream of the weir, D, all of the above. Correct option, D, all of the above. 193. A solid construction put across the river to raise its water level and divert the water into the canal is known as A, marginal bund, B, weir, C, barrage, D, dam. Correct option, B, weir. 194. When the difference in weir crest and downstream riverbed is limited into 3 meters, the weir generally used is A. Vertical drop weir B. Dry stone slope weir C. Concrete slope weir D. Parabolic weir Correct option C. Concrete slope weir 195. The function of a barrage is different to that a weir A. Correct B. Incorrect Correct option B. Incorrect 196. In a barrage, crest level is kept A. Low with large gates B. High with large gates C. High with small gates D. Low with small gates Correct option A. Low with large gates 197. The coefficient of creep is the reciprocal of percolation coefficient A. Right B. Wrong Correct option A. Right 198. The loss of head per unit length of creep is called A. Coefficient of creep B. Percolation Coefficient C. Lanes coefficient D. None of these Correct option B. Percolation coefficient 199. According to Kosla's theory, the undermining of the floor starts from the A. Starting end B. Tail end C. Intermediate point D. Foundation bed. Correct option. B. Tail end. 200. According to Kosla's theory, the critical hydraulic gradient for alluvial soils is approximately equal to A. 1. B. 1.5. C. 2. D. 2.5. Correct option. A. 1. If you found this helpful, please like and share with your network. Drop your questions below and subscribe to CivTech. Simplified for practical civil engineering made easy. Thank you.